Today I'm going to show you how to make this really, really simple blackboard that folds out into a handy table that is perfect if you have limited space and on top of that it won't cost the earth. All you need to make this then are raw plugs and screws to attach the table to the wall, some smaller, shorter screws because the screws that come with these small hinges are just a little bit too long for the batten that I've gone for. You need two small hinges to attach the batten here as the legs, two bigger hinges to attach the table to the wall. You need some interior grab adhesive or wood glue, entirely up to you. You also need a little clip to attach the table to the wall when it's upright. You need some chalkboard or some blackboard paint and I've gone for a wire coat hanger just to lock the legs into position. So to build it then the first thing you need is your tabletop and here's mine. This is MDF 18mm thick. I actually got this cut up in the shop already for me. It's 610mm by 915mm. That's three foot by two foot in old money. And you also need some batten. Now this is plain sawn, but you can go for whichever one you want for your frame and for your legs. Now the first real thing you need to do is cut the batten to length for the frame. Now I know this is 915mm long, so what I need to do is cut the batten into two 915mm long lengths. Once you've got your two lengths cut, give them a quick sanding on the ends just to lose any of the nasty nicks. Put them in line with the frame. Get the other piece of batten. Line it up nicely. Draw your line with the edge of the table and go and cut that. Once you've got the two ends cut, lay them into place just to make sure it all fits. And if you've done it right and got your measurements right, they should fit perfectly. Et voila. Once you're happy that everything is as it should be, you need to measure the lengths here to make your legs. Now I want the table to be 75 centimeters off the ground, therefore the legs need to be 75 centimeters minus the thickness of the table, which is two centimeters, meaning these have to be 73 centimeters. Once you've made your cuts and you've checked that they fit, which they do, you need to attach the hinges to make the legs. Now what I've done with my table actually is I've recessed the hinges slightly to make them nice and flush. And to do that, you simply draw around the hinge in about the center of the wood and then chisel out that area there about the depth of the hinge. Once you're happy that you've chiseled out enough depth, just screw in your hinges. Once you've got your hinges screwed onto your legs, you need to mount these legs onto the table. And to do that, I need to make sure they're nice and square. Mark them up. And then screw them in. Once you're happy that your legs are in position and as you want them to be, it's time to glue the rest of the frame into position. And to do that, you need some wood glue or some grab adhesive. Once you've let the glue dry, take all the clamps off, like so, and then turn this over without letting the legs fly off and smack you in the face. For the hinges, what you want to do is find an equal point so they all look nice and even. Once they're done and you're happy they're nice and square, so when you mount the table to the wall, it'll be perfect, it's time to mount on the clip. Once you've got your hinges and your clip in place like this and you're happy, it's time to move on to the legs. What I need to do is find the middle of the wood on that line and this line, which is around about there. It doesn't have to be exact, but pretty close and then drill two holes. Yeah. 
Right, they don't have to be that deep. It's just gonna be for the stays. Then what you need to do is get some of this wire coat hanger. So cut it using a nice pair of tin snips. And actually what you want it to be is slightly longer than the distance it needs to be for the right angle. And the reason for that will come apparent in a second. It's the second one. Once you've cut it and you've retrieved it from the floor, you need to get some pliers. And what you want to do is just bend, there we go, one edge like so. And then that will hook nicely into the first hole that you've drilled. You want to bend it again from that point. So make a rough line with your finger or your thumb. Pliers go in. And you want to bend it again from there. So from here, I'm going to bend it in on the same angle as the previous one. Like so. So you've got this kind of weird hook shape. Push one end in and the other end in to here. Then all you have to do is repeat this on the other side. And there you go. Once you've done both sides, you're ready to mount the table onto the wall. Once you've mounted this to the wall, attach the fixing here, the other side of the clip using a drill and a screwdriver, and you're good to go. Now the beautiful thing about this table is you can make it as ornate or as basic as you want it to be. Gloss paint on this one, found it in the shed. You could use, if you wanted to, maybe some sort of skirting board if you want a more ornate finish on the frame itself. But I think it's a pretty nice, pretty simple finish. 